Hi guys. Uh, first of all, welcome to my makeshift studio here. Um, <laughs> I am going to be doing some uh, recordings just directly into my computer um, from here out. It's simply when I don't have assistance to do like my fancy recording and I have something on my mind that I want to talk about right away and I don't want to have to wait until someone's here to help me. So yeah. Autonomy! Woo! Uh, but anyway, yeah, the, the microphone on the computer might sound a little tinny, so I apologize. Um, I will get a better mic soon. Um, and for now, just um, enjoy the mannequins in the bathroom. <laughs> anyway. Um, so I, I wanted to jump on and talk to you um, right now about... Uh, Control. There it is. Um, I have had a a real hell of a couple days, and this thing that keeps coming back to me um, in my moments of like real panic and sadness and overwhelm is I I just don't I don't have control, and especially over other autonomous living beings and like if my sister's death didn't teach me that <laughs> then I am not sure what will um I think it's a lesson that we kind of all have to keep learning as we go on and and I know for myself I feel like so many of my days are spent in this like battle with control Right, this I feel sometimes like I'm walking around like this, just trying to hold on so tight so that the pieces don't fall out of place. And and then I recognize that and then I like, you know, freaking do yoga or like go to my acting class and try to let go, let go, let go. <laughs> I mean, that's why I do those things. Um, and sometimes I'm more successful at it than others. And as I've been going through these past few days of, of personal difficulty, um, the details of which I will probably get into at a later date. I just can't right now because there's too much up in the air to be explicit about. Um, as I've been going through this, I, I keep thinking that like at the bottom of our need for control is really just avoidance of pain, right? It's like, if I can control this outcome, then I won't have the pain of all of this going wrong, of losing something or someone, of failure, of whatever it is. But what keeps occurring to me and what I wanted to share is that that process of trying to hold on so hard can be so painful in and of itself that it almost defeats the purpose. You know, it's like if I'm constantly walking around like this and feeling scared and panicky, then how is that better than whatever bad outcome could even happen? You know, it's the idea of kind of ripping the bandaid off. <laughs> and, um, and I guess I wanted to say that I, I feel very alone in this struggle often when I know that I'm not. And I wanted to say that maybe if we all talk about this more and embrace each other when the shit hits the fan, then, you know, maybe we won't be so afraid. And maybe we can enjoy being in the moment a little bit more and not worry so much about the outcomes that we don't have control over anyway. So... Anyway, this is me to you, my struggle, your struggle, sending big hugs and love, always. <laughs>